Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the weekend once again. Welcome to your jubilant Saturday, June the 18th, 2022. And it is Saturday for me as well. It is just about 6 o'clock. So, and I won't be, and this video won't be going live until 8 o'clock, so. I got a little late doing my videos again. I'm sorry, but hey, I'm outdoors. It's just starting to get light on the uh, and thing. So, either this video or this evening video, the light will be brightening up behind me. So, so just disregard that. It's just what time, what time of day I'm doing this. So. But today we're in the next installment of the Dust series with number 90 for your episode 7 755 are we on 55 yet or is it 54 I believe we were 54 because because yesterday it was 40 47 days now it'll be 50 46 days till episode 800 so I have to stop and look at that but um today we're going to be talking about the beginning of creation beginning with Revelation 314 and derived from Henry M. Morse so if you're excited about another jubilant Saturday and wonderful weekend ahead of us to see what we're going to do what the week it's going to have in store smash that like button comment what you're planning on doing this weekend subscribe if you do turn on notifications share the video and channel with your family friends help me reach a reasonable amount by episode 800 which I said is 46 days away and uh, help me reach a hundred by time by the end of summer calendar wise even though calendar wise was not not officially started summer yet but just that way I can say give you all summer calendar wise to uh, help me get to a hundred so, you'll do that for me I will be greatly appreciative so, so without further ado let's see what this number 90 of the Dove series the Dove beginning of creation Revelation 3.14 says, And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. So the salutation is the last of the seven church epistles in Revelation, and it, which contains the last of the four occurrences of the distinctive phrase, the beginning of the creation. The glorified Christ here assumes this as one of his divine names. Note that even God's work of creation, long since completed in Genesis 2, 1 through 3, had a beginning, and that beginning was Christ. And in the beginning was the Word, and all things were made by him. John 1, 1 and 3. The first two occurrences of this phrase also come from the lips of Christ. From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Mark 10, 16. Or not, Mark 10, 6. This assertion by the Creator, Jesus Christ, quoting Genesis 1, 27, makes it un unambiguously certain that Adam and Eve were created at the beginning of creation not after the earth that already existed for 4.5 billion years, like some people say. Like they said, the basically life existed before Adam and Eve in ev uh, what they call evolution. But animals were not created till after Adam and Eve were created. The animals were created after creation began with Adam and Eve so stop and think about that 
Nothing was created till Adam and Eve were created. And then all the animals started becoming. Then God started creating all the animals. And because Adam had. Adam and Eve had the distinction. I think it was just Adam. Of naming these animals. Now, if these animals existed before Adam, why would he be naming them? Think about that. So God also wrote this plainly on the tables of the law, or Ten Commandments, Exodus 20, 8-11. Those of evangelicals who accept the geological ages evidently reject this clear statement of the creation's creator. Then Christ also referred to the end times in the context of the beginning times. Mark 13, 19. In those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, neither shall be. So the phrase is also used in Peter's very important prophecy concerning the scoffers of the end times who will argue in willful ignorance that all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. 2 Peter 3, 3 and 4. So thereby denying that there ever was a real creation, a real creator, and thus rejecting Christ himself. But he is also the true witness and the Amen, as such demands will only be unto their own destruction. 2 Peter 3, 16. So, so there you have it. That's the beginning of creation. Coming up tomorrow in your glorious Lord's Day Sunday, June the 19th, 2022, episode 7, 55. We're going to be talking about the next installment, number 91 of the Dove series with the Prodigal Father from Henry M. Morris. The Rob. Uh, Starting with Luke 15, 22, and 23. So stay tuned to that. I'll get to that later tonight. Hopefully. Hopefully I won't go fall asleep and wake up 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. But maybe I'll get it. I'll, maybe I'll get the Sunday ones done later tonight before midnight. And have, have them ready to go tomorrow when it gets here. So. Coming up at 5.45, we're going to be talking about part two of episode seven, uh, 54 with How Are You from, uh, from a new author, Tom Felton, F-E-L-T-E-N. And it's derived from Luke 23, 32 to 43. So, so stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later tonight at 545. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God and he'll keep you safe and all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, God bless, come back later, where we will be talking about how are you. So stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.